often wish they could return to the simple joys of childhood. Only, we're talking about my childhood. Hey, we're all stuck here. Blow it out your ass! Hey, that's me, Oliver Bean. Okay, let me set the scene a little. It was the early 60s. Not too bad a time to grow up. Even the gangbangers were a nice, clean-cut bunch of kids. Oh, for the days when this is the closest thing anyone had to a cell phone. What? I'm losing you. Are you going through the monkey bars again? Okay, so, where were we? <laughs> Blow it out your ass! Oh, right. Jerry, please, not in front of the kids. What'd I say? Blow it out your ass. Do you think Jackie would say that in front of her kids? Like so many women, my mom idolized Jackie Kennedy. I mean, even to the point of fantasizing she was her. But I knew my father, and he was no Jack Kennedy. Boy, some traffic jam, huh? What? Interception? What's Tittle's problem today? My brother Ted lived by a simple rule. If it ain't sports, it ain't worth talking about. We hadn't spoken in four years. Now, when I turned ten and a half, I realized something that shook me to the core. These people were crazy! I'm sorry, guys. I don't think we're gonna make it to Butt-Butt Golf. Uh, no, but don't worry. I know something else we can do. Now, on any typical Sunday, if our plans fell through, that didn't mean we still couldn't have a good time. You see, for Dad, dentistry wasn't merely a profession. It was a way to relax and have some fun. You're clean. No new cavity since last week. Uh-oh. Spoke too soon. Ow! Yep, you got one. Ow! There it is, all right. Ow! Feel that. Ow! Hi, Neil. Hi, Oliver. You're in a good mood. Why not? You know that rash? It turns out it's not eczema. What a load off. Poor Neil. Once he turned 11, middle age hit him like a sack of Fritos. Hello, hello! My best bud, Michael. So, what are you two squirrels chattering about? An old proverb goes, bring me the boy at 10 and I'll show you the man he will one day become. We're at the damn Givenchy. There's a system here, people. And those who don't follow it will be slapped within an inch of their lives. Oliver, brown shoes and olive pants? Don't you know? Stop trying to save the world. Then there was Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie. I looked at her and felt the stirrings as something I wouldn't understand for two more years. I had it bad for her ever since the first grade. Hi, Bonnie. I made you a valentine. Oh, thank you. Dear Bonnie, I love you. I have always loved you, but I said sense. My love isn't being returned. Why don't you love me, Bonnie? I need you. I need you so much, it hurts me in my soul. I was only six, and I was slapped with a restraining order. But five long years had gone by, and I, I just knew she was sorry about blowing her opportunity with me. Oh, hi, Bonnie. Oh, God. So did you have a nice weekend? Mm-hmm. What'd you do? My family went up to our cabin in the Adirondacks. Interesting. Must have been pretty cold. Not for us. It was wonderful. We sat by the fireplace, told stories. Could a family really be that normal? We sang songs. 42 bottles of beer on the wall. 42 bottles of beer. If one of those bottles didn't happen to fall, 41 bottles of beer on the wall. They sang songs. Oh, why couldn't my family sing songs? What'd your family do? Novocaine. Come on, suck it up. Morning, Joyce. Good morning. 
So, looks like it could rain, huh? Mm -hmm. They sat Joyce and me at the same desk since third grade, and frankly, the marriage was getting a little stale. Yep, that's what they say, all right. What's happening to us? Joyce, can we have one morning without all the drama? Children, who's ready to show us what you prepared for PTA talent night? You are. Get up and do one of your impressions. I don't know. Are they really good enough? I think they're so funny. <laughs> or don't I count anymore? Anybody? The odds were against me because I was the class clown. Anybody else? And Mrs. Heller hated joy or laughter. All of them. This was it. If I could shine in that talent show, I could overcome my bizarre family, win Bonnie's heart, and maybe even earn the respect of my peers. Ah, boy, you got me that time, Lyle. <laughs> Which was long overdue. Now, how could I get old Hatchet Face to laugh? Ladies and gentlemen, Lenny Bruce. Who here has been to Vegas? You? You? What's the biggest attraction in Las Vegas? Boobs and ass! <laughs> Yo, what's the second biggest attraction? More boobs and ass. <laughs> Oliver, sit down. I think I nailed it. <laughs> Oliver, go to bed already. No, I want to watch the new guy. He's got something. Daddy's home! Dad became known as the all-night dentist, so his patients couldn't use work as an excuse to dodge him. He'd usually sail in around midnight. Hey, Char. Guess what? You know that vacant lot next to my office? Oh, no. What did you do? I put an offer in on it. On that lot? The lot where nothing grows? Why? It's a prime location. That lot holds the key to all of our future, Charlotte. Just use your imagination. Say goodnight, Oliver. No fair. Good night. Ooh, now this was a train wreck I couldn't look away from. It might even get uglier than their 15th anniversary debacle, which went a little something like this. Where are we, Jerry? You'll see. Okay. I want your anniversary present to be a complete surprise. <laughs> it feels cool. Like a first storage locker. Happy anniversary. Holy crap. I turned the basement of my office into a fallout shelter. For you. <laughs> Jerry. When I said that I wanted a mink stole because even the mailman's wife has a mink stole, take me through the thought process that led you to bomb shelter! Maybe you'll like it better after you clean the place up. Look, Jerry, don't buy that lot. You stink with business. Well... If you feel that way about it, I am definitely buying that lot! So, he might just as well have been saying... If you feel that way about it, then I am definitely throwing this money down the toilet! Oh! Oh, her again. I'm telling you, Oliver, one of these nights she's gonna do those dishes topless. Get off, take it off, take it off. Come on, come on, take it off. So, tomorrow I find out if I get picked for the talent show. Yeah, that's good. See, what would have been nice is if you said, Don't worry, Oliver, you'll make it. You're a funny guy. Maybe you won't make it. Oh, thanks a lot. No, all I'm saying is you might have to try out for 10, 15 talent shows to make one. Things don't happen overnight, Oliver. It's a little thing called dedication. Look at me, for example. I'm here hour after hour, every night for a year. Sometimes I think I can't even hold my hands up any longer. 
But I know that one night, I'm gonna eyeball some jugs. Hmm? Uh, oh. If you're gonna be a spaz about it, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. Hey, where'd she go? You had to stay up all night and watch this night show again, didn't you? Joyce, the nagging. A week had gone by, and everyone who wanted to had auditioned for the talent show. Well, I guess I'll announce who'll represent the class in this year's PTA talent night. First, Ellen with her Rockettes routine. Ooh, that was a high kick I was not looking forward to. Also, Susan with her wonderful playing of the spinning song by El Menuech. And finally, Oliver. This was my shot. Kids would look up to me. Bonnie would adore me. As Susan has such a difficult piece to play, I, I want, want you, you to, to turn, turn the pages, pages of, of the music, music for her. A page turner? Could I sink any lower? Can I get someone else? Oliver has sweaty hands. Yes, I could. The only thing lower than being a page turner is being a sucky page turner. When I nod like this, you turn the page. Think you can handle that? It's that attitude that would wreck all four of her marriages. Go ahead and leave, you moron! Leave the best thing that ever happened to you! Michael, why am I a crummy page turner instead of doing Lenny Bruce? It's just criminal. You are fabulous. Look, Oliver, what's the big deal about this PTA show anyway? I mean, the choreographer should be shot. Did you ever wonder what it would be like to make people really laugh? I mean, make all those people out there love you. By people, you mean Bonnie, right? Personally, I do not get the attraction. From Hollywood, it's The Tonight Show. Past midnight, and Mom and Dad were sitting down to their steak and potatoes with sour cream and butter, all part of their fitness lifestyle. But life was about to change forever. Up this show for a special news bulletin. The United States is taking initial steps tonight to neutralize Cuba as a potential nuclear force in the Western Hemisphere. President Kennedy has ordered military action and issued a warning and an appeal to the Soviet Union. Now, we'd all been through the duck and cover drills, but uh uh, this was for real. Could my friends handle all the fear and anxiety? It's hopeless. Calm down, Michael. Calm down. It's two weeks for Halloween. I still don't have a costume. I'm going as Robin Hood. Green tights? Of course. Oh, honey. Yoo-hoo. Has anyone been watching the news? Do you realize that there are missiles aimed at our heads? Are you guys talking about those missiles in Cuba? Oh, dear sweet Bonnie. I wanted to take her in my arms and assure her that everything would be okay. My parents say it's just a bunch of silly billy stuff. Her parents were protecting her from the truth, much like my parents. Dad, what does this mean? It means World War f three. that's what it means. Oh, to be beautiful and clueless. Oh, hi, Charlotte. What, are you throwing a party or something? No, Myra, we're stocking up our fallout shelter. Shh! Why don't you tell the whole world? When Dad built that fallout shelter in the basement of his office, everyone laughed at him. Why didn't you build us one? Well, no one was laughing now. How big is it? All right, not all at once. I'll take your questions one at a time. You. Please, we weren't as smart as you. I understand. What's the next best thing we can do to protect ourselves? Well, obviously pray that Kennedy and Khrushchev keep their heads on straight. <laughs> that glorious day when people would be sorry they hadn't listened to him had finally arrived. Geez, Jerry, I guess you were right all along. Yeah. 
That alone made Armageddon worth it. Okay, the gentleman in back, then I only have time for one more question. I can't get the game down here. Well, maybe I should have made the walls a little thinner so that more radiation could get through. Stinks. The old man was in his glory. The military had moved to DEFCON 2 for the first time in history, so a fallout shelter actually wasn't the dumbest place to be. Who knew this day was coming? Who prepared for it? Huh? Huh? You know what, Jack? I could probably share more in your enthusiasm. It wasn't the end of the world! Ted, have you ever thought about dying? <laughs> Where did that come from? What do you mean, where's that coming from? We're on the verge of a nuclear war. Oliver, everything's gonna be fine. I felt compelled to do something I'd seen in a hundred different war movies. Well, just in case we don't make it, I love you, Ted. Mom, Oliver's acting weird. Oliver, apologize to your brother. All I did was say I love you. He's doing it again. Cut it out, Oliver. <sighs> Jerry, what's that shovel for? Sanitation. Sanitation of what? Oh, no. When we get out of here, I am not cleaning up any dead bodies. And I am telling you, if we are swimming in corpses, we might have to. We? Like suddenly you're going to do housework? It'll be me, because it's always me, doing the dishes, washing the windows, burying the dead. Hey! Could it be? My brother showing sensitivity and emotion? Oh, Ted, sweetheart. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't want to die. It scared the piss out of me. <laughs> what are you crying about? You should be happy. <laughs> Everyone else is going to die, not us. <laughs> I just want to get out of here. Me too. Look, boys. Be comforting. <laughs> we will get out of here, guys. Then we'll band together with any other survivors to form a new society. <laughs> what? what? Look, who's hungry? Huh? Uh, we have... Do we have any more beef stew? Chicken and dumplings? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Teddy, look. Freeze-dried ice cream, just like the astronauts eat. Oh, Sherry, how is that going to help anything? Really? Astronaut food? I always wanted to try that. Because of Dad's late hours, we hardly ever all ate together. But here we were, having a real family dinner. And roasting our own marshmallows. And telling stories. So you were really the first person on TV? Well, almost. It was at the World's Fair at the RCA Pavilion, and the cameraman pointed and said, pick the pretty girl. He was pointing at me. Yep. Your mother was really a beautiful woman. Still is. 42 bottles of beer on the wall. 42 bottles of beer. It may not have been the Adirondacks, but hey, lose the chemical toilet and we were sort of normal. On Sunday, we crawled out of our hole when somebody yelled into us, Hey, it's over. Kennedy and Khrushchev made a deal, you morons. Mrs. Heller, let me tell the class the story of my weekend, as long as I promise not to say boobs and ass. <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot of variety at mealtime. Dad said, no double tam until you finish your double tam. <laughs> it got me to talent night. We were in the shelter for two and a half days. Hey, did I miss anything on Lassie? <laughs> the fallout shelter was small and made of cinder blocks. 1,216 cinder blocks. <laughs> Here are two games that don't work in a fallout shelter. Hide and go seek and tag. I've got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow. Got the string around my finger. What a world, what a life. I'm in love. The air inside was more dangerous than the air outside. In that sweet moment, I had it all. My family and Bonnie. 
I own talent night. Hey, tell them about how you were dancing around in your mother's bra singing happy birthday, Mr. President. What happened? I almost got away clean. of the greatest tournament of all. Experience the phenomenon again, or for the very first time. Catch the runaway hit from the very beginning. Shaman King. See it back to back, once at 8.30 Eastern, then again at 9, Saturday mornings, only on the Fox Box. If you haven't seen it back to back, you haven't seen it at all.